Hi preschool friends, this is Miss B here again. This is the second video of my two videos that I showed you today. And the first video was about um, creating art inside. But I wanted to give you an outside choice because it is gonna be beautiful. And so I want you to be able to get outside and make some art or just have fun. So Miss B's gonna show you what you can do outside for art today. All you will need for this is a cup or a jar with some water, just regular water. You don't want to drink it though, because this is for our painting. A paintbrush, or you can use Q-tips. Are we going to be using these to clean our ears? No, we're going to be using these to paint like an art tool. So what we're going to be doing, it's so easy and really fun. I'll bring you right down here so you can see. All right. Miss B has right down here her porch. And on my porch here, it's made out of cement. This texture is rough and right now it's a little cool. But what we are gonna be doing is we are gonna be painting on your driveway or painting on a sidewalk or sometimes even your house. <laughs> it's really silly, but really fun. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna simply take your tool and with some water, and you're gonna to begin to paint a picture. Okay, now as I'm painting this, you will see that it's gonna to start to create a picture on my sidewalk. Now what Miss B is trying to make here is I'm gonna make a flower because it is spring and it's gonna be fun to get to see all the flowers blooming. Do, do, do. So I'm taking my water, putting it on my brush, or if you have your Q-tip, I'll do a Q-tip one next so you can see what that's like. And I'm just making a flower with petals. Maybe you wanna make a daisy, maybe you wanna make a rose. Whatever is your favorite flower, or you can even paint somebody else's favorite flower. There's Miss B's flower. And what happens, let Miss B show you. What happens when um, you paint with water is it starts to dry out. So you can see my flower is starting to disappear already. But that's okay because you still get to paint other beautiful things. So I'm gonna move this to the side and I'm going to make another picture, but this time I'm gonna use my Q-tip. This time I'm gonna make a heart. Now my Q-tip may stick a little bit, but I think it's best if you go tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. And you just connect the water, tap, 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 tap. All like that. Let me move this back so you can see. And there's Miss B's heart that she made for you. <laughs> And so some other fun things you can do when you're out here with the water paint is you can go and collect some rocks. So right over here, this bee has a rock bed. So I'm gonna pick a couple of rocks. And I think these ones will do just fine. And I can use the rocks as part of my art. So if I have my rocks here, I'm going to make, I think, some more flowers. But this rock is gonna be the center of my flower. So I'm using my water, I'm getting my paintbrush really, 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 really good water because it was very thirsty. Remember, we don't like thirsty brushes in the art room. So now I use the rock to make a flower. Pretty cool, huh? Again, you can do that with your Q-tip. So let's say I want to make something right here. How about I turn this into, taking my rocks again, 
I'm gonna make this one into a car. So I'm gonna use my Q-tip, get lots of water, remember, thirsty, thirsty brush, and I'm gonna turn this one into a car. Or maybe I'll make it into a truck, and the rocks are gonna be the wheel of my truck. And I want my truck to be a really big truck, kind of like a pickup truck. And remember, I'm doing dab, 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 dab with my Q-tip, if that's what you have to use. Let's see, I gotta move my rock a little bit. There we go. There we go. Just about done with my car. Have some headlights, maybe a window. And then, here is my car with the rock wheels. Hey guys, I hope you had a great time getting to do your water painting. And go ahead and try that out on your driveway or your sidewalk or um, see what else it can work on. Can it work on the side of your house? Can it work on a rock, piece of wood? Who knows? Go ahead and give it a try and send me a picture if you wanna show me what you made. I love you guys and I miss you. I hope you have a really great day and have fun exploring and creating. Bye everyone.